Hi, today we're going to make a little bit of uh, mortar and pestle guacamole. I like to use a mortar and pestle to crush up the garlic and the cilantro. It really uh, breaks it up small so you can get a lot of flavor out of it. Uh, first thing we need to do is to peel up the garlic. And when you give it a smash like that, uh, the peel comes right off. We'll go ahead and just take the hard end off. And in it goes. Give that a quick crush up. I'm going to add a little bit of sea salt to that. And I use the sea salt here both for flavor and because it gives an abrasive because it can really break that garlic down. You can see it's becoming almost like a paste. I'm going to throw in a small handful of cilantro. Because we're using a mortar and pestle, you don't have to be too careful about stems because as you grind things up they really break down. But if you notice that any that don't break down, you'll want to pull those out before you finish mixing in the avocado. Looks to me like it's all breaking down pretty well. I'm going to add in some lime zest. Again, the zest is just the outside green part of the lime. Try not to dig all the way down into the, the white pith that's really bitter. Uh, it's not going to help your guacamole out too much. And then the juice from about half a lime. And that's ready for me to add the avocado. So first thing we need to do is get the pit out. Do that just by rolling the avocado up your knife. You separate it. Then use the blade of the knife to grab a hold of the pit. And a little twist. Comes right out. Then I just use a spoon to scoop the avocado right into the bowl of the pestle. And then I actually use my zester to start it. I found that if I use the, the, the mortar itself, uh, we end up with the avocado kind of trying to escape. Once I get that broken down some, I'll switch utensils. And really use that to incorporate all those flavors into the avocado. And there you have it.